Hello! In this tutorial I will demonstrate you how to use Eclipse to develop your own Che extensions, create your Che assemblies and set up super dev mode in Eclipse. For this exercise we will need two projects, assembly IDE which is a Maven module of Che project and your extension which is also a Maven project that will be packaged in JAR. The first thing to do is to add a dependency to the assembly IDE pomaxml file so that when Che is rebuilt it picks up jar from a local Maven repository. There are certain rules to be followed when adding dependencies to assembly pomaxml, namely the dependencies should be alphabetically ordered. So I will just add a dependency and perform maven sort pom command. Next step is adding an inheritance to GWTXML which specifies the GWT application and defines all modules. When GWT boots, it injects all classes defined in GWTXML file from your extension class. I have already done that. Let's build an extension so that we have an artifact in a local Maven repository. Then build Che. It normally takes up to 3 or 4 minutes to complete, sure it's faster in this video. The build is a success, so let's launch Che. I expect to see my extension to be part of it. Here we go. The notifications and actions are all there. Perfect. Now it's time to set up a super dev mode to develop your extension and see changes almost in real time. Let's go to run run configurations and create super dev mode runner on the Java application. Go to main tab and add the project as assembly IDE and the main class as com google gwt dev code server. Add minus no precompile argument. Also, you'll need to add generated sources if applicable. Finally, add modal name as com cadenvi IDE. Of course, you need to add sources of your extension. In class path tab, you'll need to upload three jars. These are three external jars, GWT code server, GWT dev and uh, your plugin package jar. We're done, so let's run super dev mode. You'll see a console with GWT code server address, so let's go there. You'll need to drag dev mode on button onto your bookmarks bar. I have already done it. When you click this button, a precompile button shows up. We'll click it a bit later and make sure you have a run in Che instance. Let's make changes to the extension sources. I'll change notification and pop-up messages. Then click dev mode on. Then recompile. And in a short time I can see an updated extension in a run in Che instance. Fork Eclipse Che. Create beautiful extensions. Browse our docs. And let us know what you think.